chose Canyon View Vineyard Church, we have an awesome service in store for you. Now the reason I'm here this week is to talk about our worship auditions Thursday, July 26th at 7 p.m. here in the auditorium. Now when it comes to auditions, people can get scared, timid, afraid. Don't worry about that. I mean, it's not like you're gonna be walking around aimlessly on a stage, looking at instruments you've never played before. It's not gonna be like that. No, our audition is gonna be smooth and painless. You're gonna to go to our website at canyonviewchurch.com or one of our Facebook pages at Canyon View Vineyard Church, Kaleo Canyon View, or Kaleo Music, and look at our stuff on there. And we'll give you all the tools you need to make this audition the best it can be. If you are new or visiting, we have a special gift for you out in the lobby at the Welcome Center. Have a little one? We have a nursery, a nursing mother's room, and courtesy rooms in the back for infants and toddlers. Beginning right now, we have classes for grade school, middle school, and high school ministries. If you have any questions, just ask any usher or stop by the info desk. Once again, we're so glad you're here. Now let's join in worship. Good morning, everybody. Let's worship God together. Lord, we invite you here today. Lord, fill this place.
Good morning, everyone. Look at those precious pictures. Aren't those dear? Welcome to our dedication weekend. I'm Peggy, the nursery pastor here. And we are so glad that all of you are here. We've got six very special little ones today. And we're going to ask for these um, families, to the dads and moms, to come on up. And while they're standing up, if you're family and friends of these little ones, Stand up, too. We want to see you and recognize you. And dads and moms, you can come on up. And if you'll just come across here. And I'm going to ask our pastors to come up, too, to be with me. And Seth, if you'll make sure they are only over at a certain spot. I don't want to lose anybody off of the stage. <clears throat> Look at these family and friends. Let's give them a hand. Thank you for being here. You may be seated. Okay, here we go. Somebody count. Do we have six little ones up here? We do. All right. And we've got the pastors that are going to be surrounding you so they can pray with you. You know, oh, and family and friends, you, you can sit down now. I, I've done that before, and the person said we had to stand up for an hour and a half. <laughs> Thank you for being here. We just rejoice in this. When you see these little ones, this is our next generation, and it's just thrilling to see all of them here. And at the vineyard, the children are a high priority for us, and we know they have to start off in, in the nursery. By the way, little ones, welcome to We Care Nursery. <laughs> and, um, but I have, as I've talked to each one of your parents, I have talked to you about how important it is to be a dad and a mom to these precious little gifts that God has given you. And so now just by nodding your head, if you'll say, yes, Peggy, we are going to do that with all of our strength and all of our might, but with the Lord God's help. It's okay. That's great. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to come down the line and remember, moms, because I know it's real important for you. They are taping all of this back there. But we're gonna, I'm going to hand the mic to the families, and if you will say your name, the mom's name, and the baby's complete name, okay? I'm Daniel, and this is my wife, Rachel, and this is Piper Bryn Dawson. Hi, I'm Amber, and this is my fiance, Jesse, and this is Isaiah Cade Williams. I'm Dave, this is Heather, and this is Cooper Charles Hansen. I'm Iviana, this is Brian, and this is Achaius Javen Bynum. My name's Michael, this is Linda, and this is our son Solomon John Travis. Morning, I'm Tim, this is my wife Jasmine, and this is our son Timothy Justice Sibulo Hurd. <laughs> we, we dedicated Kirk many years ago. <laughs> Actually, his sons, I think. So isn't this wonderful? Oh, and parents, you know, um, I, I'm feeling this because all, all the years have gone past and then being with my family. Family is very, very important. And we want you to know 
that because you're here and dedicating your children, you've just joined a new family because not only are your dads and moms or grandmas supporting you and helping you, this congregation out here is dedicating ourselves to be your support. Because I'll tell you, you know, you just can't do it by yourself. It has to be all of us and the Lord God helping us. Because with these special gifts, you know, moms, there's these wonderful happy days. But then there's some down days, too, or down nights. And that's when I want you to be very, very, um, to know that the Lord God is there with you, whether it be day or night. And that's why we pray for each one of the families and as um, we're going to say this prayer of dedication, make sure that we have enough pastors around each of, each of the families. And then remember, as soon as the service is over, we do let Kirk pray, preach. <laughs> and then we go out this door here, to the, and we have a lunch, and we have a program. So if all of you would just join with us in prayer, and if you feel comfortable in stretching out your hands, and pastors, if you'd be sure and just... Touch the baby, and if you feel comfortable, you can hold the baby. We're just all a big team here, <laughs> and join me in prayer. Oh, Father God, this is the day that you have made. We are rejoicing in it, and on this special day with these special gifts that you've given each one of these dads and moms, we just ask for a mighty outpouring of your strength and your peace on these little ones, on each one of them, Lord God. We ask for a spirit of good health to just invade each one of these families. Let the dads and moms grow in wisdom beyond their years, Lord God, that they would know that their hope is in the Lord God. And so we just come along to each one of these, these precious little ones, the ones that are starting out this new beginning, Lord God, we just pray for each family and each little one that you would just give them a mighty, mighty man of God, a mighty, mighty woman of God, Lord God. We ask for these things. Your scripture says, ask and you shall receive. And so now in Jesus' name, we dedicate each one of these, these five little boys and this one little girl, and we dedicate them to you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Aren't they precious? Let's clap for them again. See all of you later.
we worship you. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. God, we thank you today. As we sing songs of giving it all to you, giving you our everything. Lord, it's all because you gave all of yourself to us. God, we thank you. We worship you. Please surrender tonight, today. Let's give all that we can, all that we have. Let's just praise God together. And I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thy all and all. Cause Jesus paid it all, and all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. i 
crimson stain He washed it white as snow It's washed away Before the throne, and when before the throne, I stand in incomplete. Jesus died my soul to save, but my lips shall still repeat. Let's sing now. To crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. God, we praise your name. We give you thanks. We worship you. We surrender all. And oh, praise the Lord who made my dead and raised his life up from the dead. Oh, praise the Lord who made my dead and raised his life up from the dead. Oh, praise the Lord who made my dead and raised his life up from the dead. Said. Amen. Amen. Have a seat. Let's give it up for Peggy one more time. I don't think she's here or not, but she loves those kids. And so it's always awesome to see her and to see her heart for those kids when they come in on a baby dedication week. Welcome to Candy Vineyard Church. Uh, thank you guys for choosing Candy once again. My name is Tim Brown. I'm one of the worship leaders here, and it's a privilege, as always, to lead worship uh, for you guys. At this time, we're going to have our ushers. Come forward for our tithe and giving this week. And I didn't do this last service, but I want to introduce, uh, I want to introduce Christina Metcalf. She's a new vocalist for us. And we always try to uh, recognize our new volunteers and stuff. And so it's great to have you along. And so we're grateful that you guys are here again. Let's, let's, uh, let's pray for the offering and we'll check out the announcements. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your presence here today, God. And Lord, we worship you. And as we continue in worship, God, we just give of our tithe and offering. Let it further your kingdom. Let it make your name great. And God, we love you. In your name, amen. amen. All right, as they're handing those out, we do have high school, middle school, children's, and nursery going on. Uh, feel free to go if you haven't gone yet. Everyone else, check out the screens. <laughs> I just really want to make a difference in other people's lives and get back to the roots of my faith. Meeting new people and just trying to change their lives and have them also change mine. Just my whole perspective on God and how this world works. To go share Jesus with people. Uh, every time I 
do something uh, to step out in my faith, God will, uh, will show me something new. I am gonna spread God's awesomeness <laughs> to all the children that don't know him. <laughs> I feel like it's God's command to further his to further his kingdom and to spread the gospel. I felt called to mission since I was really little. Thailand's just really been on my heart for a long time. I'd do something for somebody else for a change, make their life better. Spread God's love with the street children. God called us to go be disciples and make disciples of the world. I'm nervous about the bugs. There's supposed to be a lot of bugs there. Just because of the big bugs and the weird food, but that's it. Bugs. 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 My name's Carson. I'm 14. We're going to work with street kids and pray for them and spread God's love to them and just uh, get to know them and see how they live. I think it's just going to change all our perspectives. I think God's going to move in a big way and he's just going to rock our socks and we're not going to be the same when we come back. It's a third world country. It's just completely different from anything we've ever experienced. Just to uh, show that not just teenagers this generation care about themselves, but others, spread the word of God. If you're willing to go, then uh, God's going to use you. People are called to live outside themselves. I feel like my whole life I've sort of been playing it safe, and like I just want to go to not only change their lives, but change my life, and so that I come back a different person. I know God's going to do amazing things and it's going to be awesome to experience taking a risk for God, showing Him that I really do love Him and I will do whatever He says. The only way to serve God is to get out there. For us, we decided the time is now. Choose today who you will serve and do something about it. My name is Kim Cocos and I'm the missions pastor at Canyon View Vineyard Church and I just want to say thank you to all the people in the congregation who have helped all these kids get ready for this trip. Whether it was buying a t-shirt or attending the pancake breakfast or giving money to individuals or praying for us as we're on the trip, you guys are as much a part of this trip as these guys are and we just want to say thank you so much for your support. Hey, let's give him a hand here. Is this kind of scary? Sure. <laughs> hey, I want you guys in the dark here to meet Tammy and Jack. And they're missionaries from the Philippines, from the Littleton Vineyard. And they're going to be hosting the middle school team that's going to the Philippines. So let's thank them for being here with us and for them hosting. Good to have you guys here. So we got middle schoolers and we got high schoolers, and you guys are a wonderful looking group. And, uh, and we got Daniel Bashard, who's our bass player. This is his first time out of the country, and he's going on a missions trip with these guys. And we got Dave and Kim Cocos taking the high school team. And uh, so we just want to pray as, as uh, Derek and Bridget are going to be taking the middle school team. Let's pray for them that the kingdom goes with them and that God really moves through them to change the lives of those that they'll work with in the Philippines and Thailand, all right? So, uh, Lord, we lift up these guys to you. And we thank you for uh, these young men and women that have heard your call and have sacrificed and, and have committed their, their time and their energy and their finances to go. And, Lord, as, as they have said yes to you, Lord, I pray that you would first and foremost reveal yourself to every one of them in a deeper and more profound way. 